Oh, well, 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 well. Android 12 Beta 3 on the Poco F1. OMG, what is happening, people? What is happening? Yep. Poco F1, Poco phone, Poco phone. Android 12 Beta 3 working pretty nice, pretty smooth on the Poco F1. And of course, the name of the build is Script Kiddy. And why is that called Script Kiddy? Well, that will be answered soon. But consider this video as a proof of concept of powerful Poco F1, which has been ignored by Xiaomi MIUI Poco number two in phone sales in the world, number zero in support. Anyways, here it is. Smooth, pretty smooth. Let us take a screenshot, bam, screenshot in the building, capture more. Yep, scrolling screenshots in the building. Here it is, working like a boss on the Poco F1. And this should be proof enough that this here, of course, is Android 12 Beta 3. You want more proof? All right, all right. Press and hold on the home screen, wallpapers, and style. What do you see here? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Material U in the building. Let us change the wallpaper. Let us use a green one. Accent color changed like a boss. Lock screen, clock will also change. Apply it, home and lock screen, both. And there it is, applied like a boss. Does it look dope? Yep, looks dope, right? Unfortunately, yep, welcome to the beta because the system UI did not refresh properly and we are back in business now, which is why I said that, you know, this is a script kitty build. Anyways, let us go back into wallpapers and styles and now material U kicks in. So you can change your accent color. Right now, you will notice it is set as greenish, right? So what if I want it to be this green shade? Select it bam changed boo yeah i want pinkish select this guy bam changed oh yeah oh yeah dope right super dope app grid feel free to change the app grid as well bunch of different options and have a look at these icons right now they are your normal old school boring icons go back into wallpaper and style select themed icons and it's magic it's magic yep do i sound excited hell yes i am super excited right now so themed icons working like a boss next up let us open chrome right so here it is i am on reddit let us open the recents you see this icon here link bam now i can copy the link of the url right from my recents and smooth Booye, booye, smooth, right? Pretty smooth. Select, working, absolutely fine. Screenshot, yep, we already checked out the scrolling screenshots, but yes, this is also working and have a look at the rounded UI with a small share and edit icon. Next thing, if I press and hold and go into home settings, here you will notice that at a glance has now changed to live space. Now, of course, this is broken on this build because the person who ported this build is not a great developer. Because if I tap on this, you will notice app is not installed. You do have access to your Google feed. And again, it is pretty smooth, pretty smooth. Oh, yeah. Next up, let us access our quick settings panel one more time. And now if you want to turn off your Wi-Fi, just tap on this and on the bottom left, you will get the option to turn off Wi-Fi, something which has been added with Android 12 beta 3. Next up, if I head over to settings, bam, here it is. Again, everything is smooth so far and we can head into the different customizations or the different changes so if i go into storage i should see the trash storage as well again a new change with android 12 beta 3 go into sound and vibration and now if i go into i forgot media yep media it was 
I mean, I'm so excited, I'm forgetting things. So if you go into media, you now have the option of pinning the media player, but you also have the option of showing media recommendations based on your activity. Next up, on the previous video, a lot of you wanted to ask if you had the new widgets or not. So let us go into widgets, conversations, bam, here it is. You do have the new conversations widget on this specific build. Then you also have the game dashboard, but again, that is not fully implemented in beta 3. I think we will have to wait for the next beta, but if you search for game, you do get the option for this game dashboard and you can enable it. And similarly, you also have a toggle for do not disturb for games. So if I select game settings, here it is. This is a preview of what is about to come with Android 12 stable, you will have a proper gaming dashboard, of course, not fully enabled in beta 3 right now. And of course, since I am a curious soul, I did figure out how to enable the gaming dashboard. For starters, go into settings and here in search for game. Once you search for game, go into game settings and then make sure the toggle of game dashboard is enabled. Download any application, sorry, any game from the Play Store. I have here Pac-Man. And once you do that, you should see a small arrow over here. Tap on the arrow and then you should have a gaming controller icon tap on it this is your game dashboard what if you do not see that option in that case while you are still in the game go ahead and minimize it then access the game from your recents and this time around you should have this icon tap on it you do have a bunch of different options so here it is this here is your dnd this is your fps so bottom icon over here fps this is for your screen recorder so if i tap on this icon i can now access my screen recorder and you also have youtube live so those of you who game on your device should be able to stream your games with android 12 stable builds directly from your phone you do have game optimization again not available for this game right now and this here is the icon for screenshot which is over here bam screenshot taken working like a boss top left gear icon will take you to your game settings one more time then you also have the option of disabling your swipe for assistance so if i go into settings system gestures and system navigation go into settings bam here it is swipe to invoke assistant you do have a toggle for this now do note that as i mentioned earlier this is a build which has been ported by a noob so you do not have Google Assistant working on this build. And another feature which is missing on this build is one-handed mode. So if I go into settings and gestures, as you can see, I do not have the option for one-handed mode. And even if I search for it, I again do not get the option for one-handed mode for your system UI. I do get the option for Gboard preferences, but I do not get it for the system UI. So another drawback of this current build is that it is pre-rooted out of the box because to enable this material you and the monet thing which is you're changing the wallpaper and changing the accent colors all those things which right now are not appearing because yes here is another bug this ims keeps on crashing anyways let us go back to wallpaper and style and i think it will appear after some time because i did have to reboot my device anyways out of the box safety net is not going to pass because the build is pre-rooted however once you enable magisk hide and then check for safety net safety net is going to pass and of course play store will be certified once you hide google play services and play store using magisk hide we can also go back into wallpaper and style so here it is your material u is back and of course i did forget that either you can use wallpaper colors and if you do not like any of the wallpaper colors you do have the option of basic colors as well unfortunately right now there are only four options and strange 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 i'm not sure why they do not have the option of red anyways other than that in terms of your youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption is working picture in picture is working of course picture in picture does require you to have either youtube premium or be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium app opening animations dope super dope super smooth can't get any smoother recents again smooth no issues at all have a look at the google feed again everything is smooth no jitters and no lags gestures here it is can't get any faster than that so 
again as i mentioned earlier this video is like a proof of a concept video showing you the capabilities of the ever so old and ever so famous poco f1 android 9 10 11 12 and hopefully android 13 as well for ashwatthama and yeah the noob person who has ported or made this build is yours truly me which is why in the about phone it is mentioned as script kiddy because all the information i got was from telegram groups telegram channels with a little help from adil himself and we have this build and if there is enough interest i will leave the instructions in the pinned comment on this video if you are good enough to read it follow the instructions you will have a pretty dope working build of android 12 beta 3 and before you ask me what the daily driver again me i am what you call an enthusiast i love to try out new things and i am more than happy to run the latest android 12 beta 3 on my device and of course the fingerprint scanner works there will be no face unlock so there it is peeps that was a brief overview of android 12 beta 3 running like a boss on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you <laughs>